Small crowds in eastern Ukraine's breakaway regions celebrated Russian President Vladimir Putin's decision to recognize their independence on Monday. To recognize these territories, which are on Ukraine's side of the border, as Russian territories, that gives him a pretext to send in troops because the pro-Russian authorities in these two areas uh, say that they feel like they're under threat from the Kiev government and can Russia please protect them. Western authorities say Russia has massed as many as 190,000 troops around Ukraine. Now Putin has ordered what he calls peacekeeping forces to enter the breakaway regions in response to what the Kremlin says is aggression by Ukrainian forces. Tanks were photographed in the city of Donetsk and witnesses said Russian military vehicles poured in early Tuesday. Local authorities didn't immediately confirm the arrival of Russian troops. This is a major escalation um, because he's sending Russian troops onto the territory of a sovereign country, that is Ukraine. It threatens to end the negotiations that have been going on uh, for weeks now in Europe um, aimed at trying to get him to de-escalate the situation at the border. Russia said it's still open to diplomacy, but Putin's move further complicated those efforts to find a solution and triggered a wave of condemnation among world leaders. Uh, this is plainly in breach of international law. Russia should step back. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky discussed the crisis with President Biden and addressed the nation. After Putin's announcement, President Biden signed an executive order that will prohibit U.S. investments and trade in the breakaway regions. So this is not the big um, salvo of sanctions that the U.S. and Europe have been promising. Those could still come. Uh, it's limited probably because they want to hold that stuff in their quiver if President Putin decides to invade the rest of the country. The U.S. and its allies have threatened to unleash potentially crippling sanctions against Russia, targeting its major banks, state companies and key imports if it invades Ukraine. I think that we can expect to see more uh, efforts at Hail Mary diplomacy. Um, but on the other hand, we could see President Putin escalating further and sending troops into the rest of Ukraine and taking Kiev. Or we could also see uh, the kind of cyber attacks that uh, the U.S. intelligence and the U.S. government has been expecting.